when Christmas trees line the streets of New York, and large Hanukkiot are erected in mass junctions from California to Jerusalem, I always think of this short Mishnah from Masechet Avodazara, the Tractate of the Laws of Idolatry. It's a short text that asks questions about religious symbols and about the ability to share space between competing cultures. It's about how which strategies Jews created to deal with watching their land turn into a pagan playground, but I think it has some important lessons to teach us about how to live in a multicultural society. Welcome to Talmud Live, where we're studying 18 Talmudic stories that every Jew should know. It's an initiative of the Bronfman Fellowship alumni community, and today's short text appears in the Mishnah, that first rabbinic code of law, Mishnah Vodazara, Chapter 3, Mishnah 4. It starts in the middle of a bathhouse in the city of Akko, when a Roman philosopher accosts Rabban Gamliel, the leader of the Jewish people at the time, for bathing naked in front of that, a statue of Aphrodite. This is perhaps the most Roman and pagan practice there could be, surely forbidden by the Torah itself. But Rabban Gamliel refuses to give an inch to this philosopher, answering him with three responses that each portray a different strategy of resistance. It's an imaginary conversation if ever there was one. One of those moments where you leave a room and think of 20 brilliant answers you could have given to that snarky question. Well, this is the chance the rabbis gave themselves to properly respond to the questions that they felt the mainstream Romans were asking them in their own land. And in his answers, Rabban Gamliel outlines three powerful strategies. What does it mean to be at home, he asks. Is there such a thing as an aesthetic rather than an ethical space? And can, within the aesthetic, we find a neutral space that we can share? And finally, who gets to define the meanings of actions? Now, those aren't the answers that he gives, and the connection between the text itself and the way I describe these answers might require some unpacking. But I think with a good chavruta, you'll see what I'm referring to. But before all that, Rabban Gamliel gives one powerful answer. I'll read to you from the beginning of the Mishnah. Sha'al Proclus ben Plosfus et Rabban Gamliel be'ako sha'er rochetz ba'merchatz shel Aphroditi. Proclus, son of a philosopher, put a question to Rabban Gamliel in Akko, as the latter was bathing in the bath of Aphrodite. He said to him, It is written in your Torah, and none of the prohibited pagan things shall stick to your hand. Why then are you bathing in the bath of Aphrodite? Gamliel replied to him, <coughs> We may not answer questions relating to Torah in a bathhouse. When he came out, he replied, Chiyatza Amalo. Is Rabban Gamliel simply buying time, trying to take a few more minutes of toweling off before he can come up with his fancy answers? Or perhaps in this very redefinition of space, Gamliel is making the deepest claim of all about the difference between these two cultures. With that, I leave you to your studies. Enjoy this day.